So, good morning everyone. This is uh, about a week later, and uh, as you can see behind me, the woodwork has been done um, by the other guy who's doing it. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, if you haven't seen part one of this this uh, electrical setup, then you can go check out the card up here. Yes, up there. Um, but what I'm doing today is fitting as much as I can. I've got, uh, today's Tuesday, I've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to do as much as possible. Um, so what I'm doing is I've just uh, ratchet strapped down this battery using the you know the, the good old uh, tie down points that come with the van anyway. Uh, I've fixed the charge controller up here on top of the wheel arch box. You've got the little screen cable in there, which goes up to some bunch of cables in the wall there, and there'll be a little control panel there. These are the solar cables, and they're going to go in there. And again, the beauty of having red and black is I know which one's positive now, so I'll wire them into there. I've got some bits of 6mm cable on the floor there and they will wire things around and then we're going to have over here coming up from the positive we're going to have an isolate switch and then we're going to have the main um, sort of bus bar fuse box thing with the mega and midi fuses which you'll know about if you saw the first video um, and then there's a little split charge going here and this goes to the start battery and then on this side, next to the negative, is going to be a negative bus bar. And then above the negative bus bar is going to be the fuse box up there with these little small cables going in, which are nicely labelled. Um, and the labels will carry on to the fuse box itself. And then on top of the wheel arch, well, to the side of the wheel arch here, this will be lifted up a bit to like there. Um, and then the cables are going to come out the bottom go into the bus bar and the midi fuse board so yeah so that's what I'm going to be doing so I'm just mounting everything first then I know the cable lengths and then I'll do the cable runs and uh, yeah and uh, this weekend was well, the weekend just gone because it's Tuesday now I uh, was the South Central and I did a uh, Sharon's van for transit again <laughs> Um, with Luke, which was awesome fun. I really enjoyed that. And yeah, hope to do something like that again. Um, but yeah, I love the electric work because now I can drive. <laughs> Little car's back there. <laughs> I drove there and I thought I'll pop some tools in and they came in very useful at the um, South Central. So, hello everyone. Um, it's now the end of the day. <laughs> I didn't film anything, but if you come have a look around here, as you can see, a lot has happened. So, we have the batteries joined with some 35mm cable uh, there and there. Then it comes up through an isolator switch and to the MIDI fuse board, which is there with all the fuses. Uh, and then we have the 300 amp bus bar right there. Out of the charging ways, we have, uh, we have the solar coming in through the red and black cable here. I am going to put a dual pole isolator switch here um, because you can't flick that off without just connecting the solar from the charge controller first because it's not good for them. And then we have the split charge here which comes up from the engine battery, has a fuse on the other side, then comes through up here, goes into the negative bus bar of course, and up and into a 60 amp fuse. And then the inverter comes from the 125 amp MIDI fuse there. So, hello everyone. Uh, back again the next day. I didn't film much yesterday because the guy was here as well and you know Embarrassing talking to cameras um, So I don't know what you haven't seen here. I've now labeled up all the fuses and wired them all in I put in this trip switch here um, It is yeah technically a breaker, but I think it's an AC one But it's not for breaking because it's 100 amp, so it will never go <laughs> uh, It's just so you can turn off the solar because before you disconnect the charge controller, you should disconnect the solar, otherwise it could damage the ch charge controller. So you can now flick that off. The little LED stops flashing over there, and then you can flick that off, and then your power goes out. And then you flip that back on, flip that back on, and you have power again. Uh, I've just got some fuses for these. They go right down to two amps, which is awesome for like the little reading lights and stuff, because they don't even draw an amp. So yeah, so I'll be putting that in there. Uh, the split charge is all working. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone 
well, it's sort of working. It's on now, but the engine's off. And it's charging the start battery. Yeah. It's the last time I used one of these. Um, I'm going to go simple relay or, uh, or, or B2B next time. I've installed a couple of the simple relays where it's just you give it 12 volts on the ignition key and then it starts charging. Nothing wrong with them, it only goes one way. These ones, I don't know, they seem to have a mind of their own turn on and off as and when they feel like it. So the last time I used one of these split chargers is now. <laughs> Inverter is today's job along with the USBs which I've made this little panel for as you can see there. These are really nice ones, 2.1 amp with a nice little LED. Yeah, we got a, a boat stove in here for some reason that, that has a mind of its own as well. Here we have um, switches for these lights under here and also these lights here so you can switch from the bed and as you walk in the door there's a well yet to be a switch there and one short which will power this one and this one. So I'm just in the seat base doing this uh, this cable and uh, the guy was doing the woodwork he drove the hole out there and built the seat there and I think we were misunderstanding each other out. But anyway, uh, so now I've moved that hole to down there which I had to drill a look through hole because I wasn't sure where the cable was going. Comes out there, goes along there. The cable comes here and then I'm going to drill two big 32mm hole saws there and then the USB should slot nicely into there. Uh, the idea I got from Luke's van life was these P-clips when I was working with him at the South Central. And yes, they just look dead straight line. Just three little P clips there, there, and there. And uh, yeah, just super neat. I've same. I've tidied the underside up with, uh, but and yeah, you get massive ones and then just tiny ones. Um, and then the mains cable, the 240, I forgot to run originally, so I'm going to run that through next to the wheel arch down there, which you can't really see, but it should pop out around about there. And then run it along the floor, up, and then 240 will be around there. So you have USBs and 240. So, yeah, we're all good. Let's crack on. Okay, guys, so, uh, well, I'm currently in another van. And also, thank you very much for 1,000 subscribers. Honestly, thank you so much. It's mean the world to me. I'm not ever monetizing my channel. I'm pretty sure I've said that. I don't care about that. I care about the fact that a thousand subscribers that's all uh, a four digit number so yeah uh, anyway I'm in my van which you will yet to see but if you do follow me on Instagram I've been posting regular updates on there for the last two weeks about this van so do go check it out with this name and the link will be in the description too anyway the reason I've come on now in present time this video is being uploaded today I'm editing it for today so you'll see this in about 20 minutes um, is because I didn't finish the video as per usual so basically uh, the van isn't even here either so yeah I just put those USBs in with the little nice oak faced faced oak faced uh, fascia and then that was that and and then it went off and I think that's all I did uh, and yeah it was all tidied up and looks really nice by the end of it uh, it was still not painted and still very raw because the the uh, the friends who uh, we did it for wanted to paint it themselves um, but yeah so this is a very exciting time right now and I'm trying to get through the videos because I do really want to show you this van on YouTube but I just haven't had the time to edit the videos so today I'm going to edit this one get it uploaded and edit one more and get it scheduled for next week so I'm not going to miss next week so if you're not subscribed make sure you're subscribed because this van this van you will see soon anyway enough rambling because I want this to be a short video to short upload so yeah uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure you do subscribe, comment down below, hit the like button and hit the bell icon because I bet you all want to see this van.